And now he says, before we get to the airport, because I don't want to talk about this at all when we're with David Fazel, but the Lord told me I can tell you this. And that's when on the way to Tel Aviv, he told me about the Ark of the Covenant and the discovery of the Ark of the Covenant. And uh, so before that time, he didn't... He didn't tell anybody. It, he wasn't making it known. Wow. And I come back to America. He didn't tell me not to tell anybody. Oh. And I'm giving it in my testimony. And that little cassette tape on the discovery of the Ark of the Covenant, that's the first the public has heard it. It goes all over the world. It went viral all so over the world. So we got to have that tape. Uh, yeah, you show that. That's the, on that tape. That testimony, yeah. Uh, my because testimony. I, I don't know the mm -hmm. one we bought is the same one or not. It no, may not that's be the not same the one. first one. I've never duplicated that one. I haven't put it out as my original testimony. Oh, so we got to have that one. You please, got to have please. that one. That's back in, in uh, Iowa. Back in Iowa. And I need to have Becky find it. I think it's on that shelf in my wife's walk-in closet. Uh, we have all my history of cassette tapes. Uh, oh, maybe we. I think it's there. I hope okay. it is. Okay, because we want to document it. We don't want to record it again. Yeah. And like, we, there must be like millions or like oh. at least like millions, millions, and millions. I made a few mistakes. You know, on Chinese uh, uh, Christians, they they want to hear this. <laughs> the original um, one. Yeah. That's the tape that went viral around the world. Oh, and uh, my phone started ringing when I got back to back to where I lived in Portland at that oh. time. And when we moved to to Iowa, Woodbine, Iowa, uh, we let the house out to some people oh. on the condition we will pay the monthly bill for the phone. Mm -hmm. Now, not your long distance call, but mm -hmm. on this condition. Mm -hmm. Every call you get internationally or anywhere, mm. you give them my number in mm. Iowa. That's mm. the reason we'll pay the phone bill. Mm -hmm. So we mm. paid that phone bill for three years for them. And, and they would refer the people to my phone in Iowa. Wow. <laughs> so you, 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 are the, you are the first one who to announce out. it to the world. Yeah. The, they'll use yeah. you to... Yeah. Well, he found it, but you are like the mouthpiece. I was the mouthpiece. That's why he says you're the best PR agent anybody could ask for. Huh. You you introduced me to the world. He was virtually unknown up to that. Yeah, time. he's kind of, kind of timid, un, understated guy. And yeah. I didn't even know I was doing it. See, he yeah. didn't tell me, and I was giving it to my intercessors. And that lady had that little recorder. I didn't even realize she was recording. I didn't know it was recorded, but I felt like they needed to know there were 25 intercessors. The average age was t about 70 years uh -huh. old mm. in that room of 25 mm. intercessors. Mm. Most of them have gone to be with the Lord. But mm -hmm. Judy Mahar, I mentioned, yes. she was in that room. The one that invited me to Lake Oswego that became the, mm. she'll verify what I said about all the money's in. For, for walking the border between England and Wales. She's mm -hmm. the one that handed me the envelope, said, you need to look at it. Mm. She'll verify that. Okay. So, and well, the I, people's testimony from San Diego. So, yeah. 